Thank you, God, for giving me the courage to stand in front of this camera to talk to these wonderful people. Thank you, God, for giving me the courage to book a plane ticket to Hawaii. I want to ask you something. Have you experienced fear? Whether that be in the form of when you're, maybe you have the opportunity to stand in front of some people. Maybe you have the opportunity to speak to someone that you never spoke to. Maybe you have the opportunity to share something with someone that means a lot to you. But instead, you chose to just stay quiet, to not embarrass yourself, to not look overly sensitive or make a scene. For God did not give us a spirit of fear. It's written in the Bible. He didn't give us a spirit of fear or timidity. He gave us a spirit of power and love and self-discipline. That tells me that there is a force that is for us, that is so much greater than us or that opposing force that loves and supports us. We are supported by the creator of the universe. And I just want to encourage you, and I want you to look at your life, look at your decisions that you've made recently. Were they based out of fear? Or were they based out of faith? Were they based out of love? Fear is such a real thing. And I am so excited to move beyond that in my life. And I am so excited to invite you to join me. On March 19th through the 23rd, me and some other brothers and sisters are gonna be headed down to Costa Rica for the Single and Christian Retreat. I have spots still available if you wanna join us. And if you can't join on the retreat, I wanna encourage you to be part of the online community. If you're feeling me, if you're feeling me, or if you're feeling Christ shining through me, I want you to go to over to singleandchristian.net, fill out that form and apply so I can take you through an interview process to see if you're a good fit for this community. I don't want anyone to expect to get into a relationship by getting involved in the community or on the retreat. Although the context will be conducive for that, if that should happen, it would just be more like the cherry on top. And if you're feeling needy or desperate to get into a relationship, that's probably the thing that's keeping you from doing just that. And that's something that we're gonna talk about. And regardless if you apply for it or not, I wanna encourage you to operate from a place of support, of a place of love, rather than a place of fear. Do not base your decisions on fear because that is the opposing force. All right, guys, stay courageous and stay bold. Until next time.